The Arkansas Razorbacks are off to a great start, 3-0, and and they look to make it four straight as they welcome in the Lipscomb Bisons to Fayetteville. Alongside them, Razorbacks have had the comfortability of playing here at Bud Walton Arena this season so far, and inside they go. Good start, and for good reason. There he is, inside. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups for Arkansas, brought to you by Farmrich. And the Razorbacks. Back out, Van Over's been money from three this year, and that will not <laughs> stop here. Seven for three, you're not supposed to be able to shoot it like that. Van Over can go inside as well, back out. Moody. Those are Moody are two away from the victory. Um, they're kind of shorthanded, but you know they they, they played well. Nice shot there by they, they played well. They made a mid-major issue, but historically they've they've had really good teams, tournament teams, teams that have won games in the tournament. They they have a good program and a good culture. Good ball movement here and again. Moses Moody with another three for the Razorbacks. Seven. Five of seven from three-point land for the Razorbacks so far. No good there, but an offensive board. Put back, count it. From Jalen Williams. Lipson. Big three by Jake Wolf for Lipscomb, and maybe that'll get the Bisons going. Inside. Good find from Moody to Jalen Tate. This Arkansas team just has... Head fake on the three, stepping into the jump shot. That's a good looking move by KK. Vance Jackson Jr. Another four strong because it was right there. Really the very first thing Coach <laughs> Acuff pointed out to us. Yeah, he, he said you, know, you, you can't get too weary uh, of the Razorback runs. They can. Step over three, rattles in for J.D. Nelson. Come bring it on the offensive end if you want to have any chance of coming back in this game. Losangela lost the handle. Note inside, up and under, acrobatic oh. move from Note. I'm telling you, he's got that wow factor. You know, anytime he touches the it ball, really, you know, brought a feel to the game that it's just like no other. Uh, you know, you got to play these games with you know, 25 percent capacity some schools have zero people it's just it's just a different feeling um and i really do feel for the guys who, who, who don't get the chance to play and feel different right there 24 to 10. this can have to close that gap a little bit smooth jump Jalen Williams, three-pointer number seven for the Razorbacks here in the first half. Carey inside the floater. What a tough shot right there where you, where you get to your spot and you just can't finish. How about the putback, Ethan Henderson. That's been the name of the game so far. Good up fake and the reverse layup. Jalen Williams or Jalen Tate again. You know, again. due to COVID-19 and just not being able to do much besides, you know, learn one another, learn each other's games. Um, but yeah, no, definitely with 12 newcomers, it, it's no easy challenge to, to build continuity and they've done a really good job. Good find inside, Justin Smith on the finish. Smith. Stops and pops, Tough that's shot. a pretty move. Tough shot, if, if he's knocking that down consistently, Nearly turned over. Hazen gets it back. Asajula inside. See, and, and, and that is solely because Connor Van over seven foot three. Asajula didn't want to get his shot blocked, and he knew the seven footer was right and there. So he, no, if no one in the program uh, looks at the uh, the preseason ranking, and if you do, it's only for motivation. Um, it's only to to, to try to get why, back at the. That's uh, one key in building a program is making sure you don't let that in-state talent go anywhere else. Got to build a wall sure. around your state. Over, over and a year span for, for this Razorback team, a team that really had no presence inside in terms of rim protection and, and, and rebounding. And over in the corner, um, off the mark. Nice pass. 
Moody again stepped around the man who was trying to take the charge. It's good rotation by Liskin right here. Just better offense by the Razorbacks. Vance Jackson is so poised. Like I mentioned earlier, an older guy that can't really get rattled. And no moment is too big for him. He's been around the block a few times. Jackson already graduated, got his uh, BA in interpersonal communication from New Mexico and working on his masters now. You want to try to beat them, and that's too. what this Razorback team has done is just from the beginning of the game have kind of cut off the water for Lipscomb. Great strip by Miles Miller, but can't finish contested layup in transition. In stride, Jackson to Moody. That's what I love about Moody, too. He been some crazy finishes two games so far, and we expect the same in the hoop season. That three is good. He comes back through that adversity and, and, and continues to fight and play hard for his team. That's what you want to see right now for Coach Acuff. You know, this game's probably He's out of reach. Got the uh, but center of attention when it comes to the defensive game plan. Yeah, I mean. People know the Slipskin team, and, and he's one of the premier players in uh, the majority of the game, and that's by design. You know, we've got someone who, who is an elite passer and can get people involved. You've got to press up to, on them and, to and make you don't want to do anything that, that gets you called out the next day. But some good takeaways overall, and the good thing, Manny, now they get to carry some momentum into you know, that first road game of the season as well, right? Yeah, they do, and, and that'll be a good one. Got Tulsa, but this is a... A nice building block uh, going forward. Into that. Big performance tonight from the freshman Moses Moody. He's been as good as that.